Hello, I'm sitting. ¿No lo ves? I'm sitting. I'm not standing. No, sir. María está tuya. She's sitting. She's not standing. Alonso Quijano, Don Quijote de la Mancha. He's sitting on a horse. He's sitting. He's not standing. La gente del circo, sí, but not Don Quijote. He's uh, sitting. I'm looking at you. I'm speaking to you. I'm teaching English. I'm not teaching Spanish. I'm sitting in a chair. I'm not sitting on the table. I'm pointing at you. I'm not pointing at myself. I'm pointing at you with both hands. I'm not pointing at you with only one hand. Hola, bienvenidos a la clase número 38 de nivel básico. Estamos, en, en este momento, estamos aprendiendo cómo utilizar el presente continuo. We are learning how to use the present continuous. Entonces, hoy tenemos una pregunta en presente continuo. Are you sitting or standing? Are you sitting or standing? ¿Estás sentado o estás de pie? Ok. Vamos a centrarnos en esta primera parte. Are you sitting? Sitting. El verbo sentarse en inglés es to sit. Y el gerundio, sitting, con una S silbado. No, no decimos es sitting, es sitting. Are you sitting? Ok. Entonces, la pregunta. Fíjate, hay que invertir el orden del, del sujeto y el verbo. Entonces, ayer vimos, I'm talking, I am talking, yeah? He is talking. Ahora, are you talking? Or are you sitting? Am I sitting, yeah? So, are you talking? Are you walking? Estás andando. Are you teaching? Estás enseñando, por ejemplo. Hay muchos ejemplos, pero luego. It's technology time. Estoy en una cita por internet. An online date. Pero la línea está mal. The line's bad. Are you Begonia Periwinkle? Are you Begonia Periwinkle? I... I'm Albert Shuttlesworth. Are you... Are you standing at your desk? Are you standing? Are you sitting? Claro, hay que decir, are you? Are you? Are you sitting? Are you standing? Are you connected? Are you? Are you speaking Chinese? Begonia, are, are you speaking, are you speaking Spanish? Are you? Are you talking to me? Who, who is that person behind you? Are you talking to me or are you talking to him? Who, are you talking to him? <sighs> okay, vamos a dedicar esta segunda parte de la clase de hoy a una palabra sola y una palabra bastante corta. Es or, que o que, que se deletrea O-R, y es el, el, la traducción de O en español, O, O. Por ejemplo, are you happy or sad? ¿Estás feliz o triste? Are you happy or sad? El sonido es bastante largo, ¿ya? O, O, no, or, o, 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 ¿ya? Are you happy or sad? Are you in Spain or... In England, are you in Spain or in England? Estás en España o en Inglaterra, yeah? Are you Spanish or American? Are you Spanish, American? It is de, um, it is español o americano. Or, or, todos con or. Are you tall or short? Are you tall or short? It is alto, alta, o bajo, o bajito, bajita. Yeah? Are you? 
¿Cómo se dice en inglés, nuestra palabra del día, pollo? A ver. Chicken. Chicken. Nuestra palabra del día es chicken. Perfecto. Hoy me siento filosófica. ¿Ser o no ser? To be or not to be. To be or not to be. Or. Así con R es como nosotros decimos o. Or. Como si fuera algo de oro. ¿Ok? Dilo tú. Or. Very good. Hmm. Is this an elephant or an orange? Is this an orange or an elephant? Are those your books or my books? Is this a pen or a pencil? Are these my glasses or your glasses? Is this Michelle's mobile phone or is it my phone? It's my phone. Is this Peter's number or Mr. Smith's number? It's Peter's number. Okay, I can't believe it. It's Peter's number. I'm going to call. Le voy a llamar. Okay, vamos a terminar la clase de hoy con un verbo en gerundio. Yeah? Standing, standing, estar de pie. Is standing, standing. Okay, hemos visto ya, yeah. are you sitting or, ahora vamos a añadir standing. Are you sitting or standing? Estás sentado o sentada o estás de pie. Yeah? Fíjate en la pronunciación de standing. No hay ningún rastro de una E antes de la S. Uh, no decimos e standing, por ejemplo. Decimos standing, standing. Yeah? Ok, vamos a ver... Otros verbos con, es, con, 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 con el um, presente continuo. Por ejemplo, el verbo leer en inglés es to read. Y el gerundio es reading. Entonces, are you reading? Estás leyendo. O escribiendo es writing. Writing. El verbo escribir, to write. El gerundio, writing. So, en este momento, are you reading? Or writing. ¿Estás leyendo o escribiendo? O escribiendo o leyendo. Ok. Entonces, la palabra del día es chicken. Chicken significa pollo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Chicken. La palabra del día. Perfecto. Muy bien. Yes. Hello. It is Mr. Strong. And say hello to thee. Mwah. Mwah. Well, I have some good news. Yeah. Tengo buena noticia. I have some really good news. Are you sitting or are you standing? Are you sitting or are you standing? I'm standing. I'm standing. Fijaos, no he dicho e standing. No es sílaba delante de la S. Standing. Extiende la S. I'm standing, not e standing. Sí, sé que has caído con esa muchas veces. I'm standing. Y rematamos la faena y le damos al G al final. Standing. I'm standing. Are you standing? I'm standing. I'm not sitting. I'm standing. I'm standing. Okay, so this is a power stance. I'm standing. I'm not sitting. Okay, the good news. I have the number one exercise video in the world. Yeah!